2020 AD. That's the Cassini Deep Space Probe. Orbiting Titan, the probe launched the lander Huygens to conduct an atmospheric and geological study of this largest of Saturn's moons, and discovered some very intriguing things. Unless that's a really strange rock formation, and I don't think it is, then there's life down there. Intelligent life. That's where I come in. I'm a captain with the Galactic Reconnaissance Unit. Now I've trained long and hard for tough deep space missions with no backup. It's my job to take the experimental craft HCS level to Titan and investigate the information revealed in Huygens' last disclosure. My mission is probably the most important military operation ever undertaken. How come? You know that age of peace and prosperity promised by certain science fiction TV shows? Forget it. Humanity didn't learn its lesson. In a few months, our ozone layer will vanish, and our whole planet will be deep fried. If I fail, humanity joins that prestigious club shared by creatures like the dodo and the dinosaur. You see, before the Huygen probe ceased transmitting, it revealed that Titan's atmosphere contains rochellium, a gas that bonds with oxygen to produce ozone. I've got to secure it for Earth, whether that means bargaining for it or fighting for it. Believe me, I can do both. All right, Titan, here I come. Let's see what you got. Wake up, Commander. Your arrival is right on schedule. I could say welcome to Titan, Saturn's largest satellite, and have a pleasant stay, but I'm pretty sure this will be no vacation. You should know that there is only a faint magnetic field on the satellite. So, if my directions serve me correctly, we are at North 212, East 122. My sensors indicate the Huygen probe to be west 517 meters. Watch your step. The surface is heavily coated with ice and liquid methane. And don't forget to take all your equipment from the lava. I will. Thanks for the ride, darling. Better go back in for another check. Obtain some health spirulina. There's 20 health caplets in the exoskeleton pack now. Pick up my thermos? It's only got just a bit of coffee left in it. Send transmission. Uh, I can't send a transmission to Earth. I don't have the power to spare. However... I can replay the ship's last communication to me. So if my directions serve me correctly, we are at Nord 212 Oost 122. I think I have all I need. The HCS level. Those pencil neck geeks really did make some remarkable improvements to the Coslink system after all. of metal. I wonder if I'm close to the Huygen probe. Maybe I can whack somebody over the head with it. Good idea.
panel itself is beyond hope, but those cells may still be good for something. It's fragile. Handling with care. Well, what have we here? Well, that door is not a product of erosion. There's intelligent life here. The door is covered with strange but prominent symbols. I can't decipher them. There seems to be something leaking from the probe. This is the Huygen probe. At least, it was. Something smashed it beyond repair. This is the Huygen probe. At least, it was. Something smashed it beyond repair. Some kind of alien creature. Reminds me of a spider. It's a solar panel. It's used to power a few minor systems on the probe. The frame is in pretty good shape. The solar cells themselves have been smashed to shards but if I can replace them, the panel might still provide some power. Well, what have we here? I'm sure the top brass on Earth would be glad to know that their multi-million dollar lander is going to good use as a spider toy. The frame is in pretty good shape. The solar cells themselves have been smashed to shards, but if I can replace them, the panel might still provide some power.
Got it. Mmm, I make one mean cup of java. to where I started. Organic. Oh. 
There's some sort of growth on the cavern floor. Maybe some kind of fungus or algae. All right. Scientists on Earth go ape over stuff like this. I do believe I've found the locals. It's a short, squat creature. It appears to be aware of my presence. It's a grim-looking, monstrous creature. It's a small, gangly creature. It seems to be 90% teeth and claws. That's not the proper way to use it. Translation incomplete. Translation incomplete. Translation incomplete. Translation complete. You're not speaking silly thing no more. Good. Who are you? I am Viper A. You must know and fear. I don't know you. You never hear of Viper A? No. You live on stars or something. No, but not a bad guess, actually. Who are your friends? Viper A's have allies, not friends. All right. Who are your allies? Why don't you ask them, huh? I like your attitude. You remind me of a bus driver I know back on Earth. What? Never mind. Hello. This may sound strange, but I'm from another planet. I don't know what that means. A planet? That's what we're standing on now. No, that is ground. No, I mean we're standing on a large celestial body. We are standing on the body of someone named Celestial. You crazy. We'll talk later. Strange thing. Do you understand, Wobble? Who are you? Me is Wobble. What is you? I'm a human. Human? Human. We never hear of you. Well, that's because I'm from another planet. You may joke. No. Then you made Great City disappear. I can't make a whole city disappear. <laughs> Me thought you lying. Not to talk to Wobble again unless truth telling. This is good. Now we can speak, strange one. 
What would we speak of now? Hello. I come in peace. No, seriously. From the planet Earth. We shall help each other. Do you agree, or do you argue? And that depends. What am I agreeing to? You must follow me to our frozen home. There to learn about the struggle between the good wisdom and evil intelligence. All right, I'll hear you out. Follow me to your destiny. Before you are taken to Ice City, you must have proof of your sincerity. Sincerity? Hang on, you never said anything about that. He argues he is a spy. Patience, and we do not make assumptions, violent one. Visitor shall prove his sincerity, or he will not. It is simple. He will kill the Zephasaur, or he will live, or he will die. There is no need for us to interfere. What do I have to do? There is a creature called Zephasaurah. The Zephasaurah has many legs and many more teeth. There are a few greater dangers here. You must destroy it. How do I do that? If we knew, we would tell you. We can only say that many of our greatest soldiers reside in the guts of the Zephasaurah. You don't have any tips for me? Only stay out of its reach. And is vicious when protecting its young. Ah, oh, this just gets better and better. Time to decide, visitor. This sounds suicidal. I'll do it. Excellent, visitor. Cory Fox knew you would do this. Go to your task and return with proof of its completion. I'll be back in a flash when the job's done. Cory Thox believes in you. Do not disillusion me. Let's see what this stirs up. Sounds like my dad coming up the steps to punish me for something. I can't use it like that. I can't do that. I can't use it like that. I can't use it like that. 
I can't use it like that. That won't work. I can't do that. I can't use it like that. I can't use it like that. That won't work. I can't do that. That's not the proper way to use it. I can't use it like that. That's not the proper way to use it. Now, let's see what this stirs up. Alright, this is it. Let's see what this stirs up. Here we go. I'd better be ready for this. You know, there really ought to be a watch for falling rocks sign there. This would make good proof that I did the job. Zyphosaura, he is great warrior. Bring down blood like rain. Truly, stranger, they did not believe you had wits to make Zyphosaura unliving. You caused great surprise and joy. But Cory Thox sensed something about you. All in a day's work, my friends. Now, where do we go from here? Bring home! Yes, make one of us. They have spoken, stranger. Cory Thox agrees and argues. You come to Ice City with us, but please to wear blindfold for security reasons. We take you to our advisors. We may be each other's savior. I apologize for the secrecy and suspicion, Visitor. I do not doubt that you have many questions. You could say that. You are in Ice City. For generations, all the creatures of our world coexisted peacefully in a giant city not far from here. But it all changed not long ago. How do you mean? We had always followed Lysi without hesitation. Under her, we thrived alongside the inhabitants of Great City. Zons were designed by her to work the mines for us, but our dependence on technology made us lazy and decadent. Worse, Lysi's creations were made in the same careless manner as our way of life, and one of them killed a citizen. Lysi claimed it was an accident, but she lied 
and every thinking, rational creature knows it. So what was done? Was there a trial? Of course not. As ruler, she could not be challenged. Instead, we demanded the Zons be removed and dismantled. Lysi appeared to acquiesce, but secretly she was creating a second, even more dangerous automation. The Syntrix. She also reprogrammed the Zons to suit her murderous purpose. Swayed by her lies, we were unprepared for Lysi's attack. We do not fully understand who you are, but we do know why you are among us. From our place of exile, we shall regroup and reclaim what rightfully belongs to us. All of us. I'm afraid you're mis... We will destroy Lysi. With your help, we shall overcome. Wait a minute, slow down. I need more information. Of course. What do you wish to know? What makes you think I can beat Lizy? We have heard of your exploits on the surface. Pretty impressive, huh? You are not perfect. But you show both wisdom and intelligence. And unlike us, you have the power. Lysi has only power and intelligence. Her lack of wisdom will be her undoing. We will also assign you two of our top troops to escort you and give you supplies to nourish them. I'm a little worried about my supplies. Do you have any equipment you can spare? I am sorry, Visitor. We do not use weapons such as yours. We hardly use weapons at all. Our resources are very limited. We do not dare give you food. Who knows what our food will do to you? Can't you give me anything to help me out? Well, we do have this magnetic card. What does it do? The Adobin use it to access the Great City Computer Network. Adobin cards are only good for three uses, and this one already has one access used up. However, perhaps you can use it to learn valuable information, or assist you in your sabotage. I'm sure an imaginative guy like me can get creative with it. Thanks. Then perhaps you can also make use of this. It is an interface jack. It will help you use the computer terminals in the city. Unfortunately, we stole it a long time ago. The code in the computers has probably since been changed. You will need to find a way to get the current code translated for the interface jack. Gotcha. What kind of opposition am I looking at? You will face Lysi's robot creations, the Zond, and the Centrix. Tell me about them. The Centrix is quick and deadly, designed especially for combat. The Zond were originally designed for labor, but Lysi has modified them for homicide. I guess that means there'll be no shortage of fighting. I'm afraid this is true. What else? The people in the great city have swallowed Lysi's lies. Her people, the Xantusia, obey her blindly. Great. There's nothing worse than fighting fanatics. The Adobin, near slaves to the Xantusia, will also attack her enemies on sight. Also beware of the Tejus, the semi-intelligent and wholly aggressive pets the Xantusia keep. I don't mean to be crass, but what's in it for me? Do not fear. We understand you have needs too. Tell us what they are, and we shall grant them to you. I need a special element. On Earth, we call it Rashilium. 
When its elemental structure disassociates, it combines with oxygen to mend our ozone layer. I need it to save our planets. Ah, yes. We know of this substance. If you kill Lysi and bring us proof of your deed, we will provide all the Rishilium you require. Is that right? Hmm. Sure, I'll join you. I never was one to back down from a good fight, especially when it's for the underdog. Excellent. We will assign you troops and deploy you at once. This is the Wubble. He's going to be one of my guides while I'm here. This is the Korathox. He looks like a good ally to have. We not be at Ice City. We move on. Must talk later, creature. But now to put distance between us and Ice City. It's not good to be seen out here. Lizzie you may see. We apologize for blindfold march through our home, stranger. But Sir Raffle, very cautious lizard. There's no exceptions for new rebels. Okay. You must be my troops. Wobble reporting for duty! It is agreeable to meet the stranger and intimate friend. Well, you're probably the strangest batch of troops I've ever commanded. And that's saying something with a career I've had. But still, your leaders tell me that you're two tough hombres and that I can count on you to get this job done. Yes, we fight hard before. We do it again. And then we do it some more, until fight is won! Cory Fox see death as merely another possibility in the great web of life, Visitor. We do not fear it. I'm glad to hear you guys say that. With any luck, we'll make quick work of Lizy, free your people, and I'll get the Rochellium leaders promised me in return. So, without further ado, let's go save our homes. There is proof of your sincerity, and great relief to everyone who lives here. Me hear you do this! Wobble impressed! Wobble big impressed! That bug has been squashed flat. Greetings, I am your friend. Together, we fight Lizzy. Tell me about yourself. I am Wobble, in Ice City, we are warriors. In Great City, we were slaves. Slaves? Yes, Lizzy and Zantuja make us work like animals. They say we not the same as them. They say we smell. This because of the work they make us do. What kind of work? Can't say, or you won't eat for days. Can you tell me a little about this land? What do you need to know? Tell me about the rock formations. Not much to say. 
Rocks is rocks. Tell me about the plant life. Not many plants. Not very interesting. There must be something about them. There is Miro for some plant. And what's that like? Ugly plant. Sometimes brown, sometimes green. No good to eat. And sometimes one will dry them and use them to make fire. They burn good. Tell me about the wildlife. There are three creatures out here. Zephyrosaurus, Barragurik, and Myophia. All will try to kill us. Tell me about the Zephyrosaurus. Zephyrosaurus means certain death. Even Zon and Centrix die when fight Zephyrosaurus. But we haven't seen in a long time. Tell me about the Ferragurik. Ferragurik, big insect, strong jaws. Very dangerous, but not so dangerous as Zephyrosaurus. Tell me about the Myophia. Myophia, nasty. They play tricks and steal things. Actually, tell me about something else. The quarry fox is pleased to see an ally. Is an ally pleased to see the quarry fox? So, tell me a little about your race. We are quarry fox. I am not a quarry fox. Pardon me, but I've noticed that your kind seem to contradict yourselves a lot. Yes. Hmm. If the value X is 4 and the value X plus the value Y equals 12, what time is a rabbit when it flies? Excellent creature. Please stop being so coherent. Tell me about this world. We can talk or not talk about what? Tell me about the rock formations. Some rocks radiate heat naturally. It's most useful in staying away from death. Tell me about the creatures we might encounter here. There is no Zephosaura or Myophia, nor is there a fair Greek. What's a Zyphosura? There is no need to discuss Zyphosura. If we do not meet one, we are fine. If we do meet one, we are unliving. What is a Myophia? Strange creature. Delights in destruction, and destruction is delight. What's a Ferragurik? A creature with many legs and few virtues. Its body is long, its teeth are long, its temper is short. Tell me about the plant life. Cory thoughts know little but plants. Bubble knows more. But this is a lush jungle world with very few plants. But what plants we have, we cannot eat. So, what do you think about humans? Humans are strange creatures. They seem to surround themselves with layers of cloth and metal. That's just my body armor and survival suit. Intriguing. Is there then such things as armor body and suit survival on your world? Well, I suppose. But we don't think on quite the same lines as you do. Thinking is important to Cory Fox, but it is not quite as important as thinking.
Prairie Fox often observe that both peace and blood flow like rivers. Me is triumphant! Well, looks like I've made it to the entrance. Now the fun really begins. We made it! We were driven from this place once. Now it is time to return. We make it! We make it to the city! We do good so far! Well, we're here at the city gates. Yes, we make it! We survive tough fight! We go get Lizzy next! Maybe we didn't... Uh, in, uh... Invincible? No! We is tough, but we isn't that tough. Invisible. Yes, maybe we is invisible. Seems pretty hard to, to believe that we still alive otherwise. Got any ideas? We must get into city! How are you holding up? One will be fine. We at city now. Friends make bet that we not make it this far. I rich wobble when I get home. We have arrived departed at the gates of the city. Our progress is most satisfactory. Well, we're at the city gates. Yes, Cory Fox will express surprise. Why, didn't you think we'd make it this far? Corythox did not consider it at all. We Corythox simply try to be surprised at seven things a day. Keep our minds in shape. Keep your minds in shape? Yes. If mind goes accustomed to lazy thoughts, mind soon stop having all thoughts. So we try to think differently. Is that why you frequently talk in contradictions and argue with the obvious? Yes, no. Do you have any suggestions? Cory Fox suggests we get in city and start next part of the plan. My Wubble assistant. He's rough and tough and not just in the smelling department. He fights just like he looks. Mean and ugly. A large door blocks the entrance. It's covered in symbols. They might mean something to someone here, but not to me. There are two panels on one side of the door. Maybe I'll just drop in unannounced. There must be panels to control the door.
Oof. They don't take kindly to visitors around here. Hey, Dorito, great city! We are here! We were driven from this place once. Now, it is time to return. The front door. Now I'll disguise myself as a singing telegram and fight my way inside. We mean it! The doors of Great City. I hope we are prepared, human creature. Well, we made it this far. Now I imagine the Namby Pamby wastelands give way to some serious hot action. Human is correct, and correct is the human. We have not seen the city since the purge. Rumors say it has changed. Changed in what way? Daisy lies in bored with robots. He's experimenting with life. That better not mean what I think it means. If I see one thing that looks like Frankenstein's monster... What it means is that Lizzie's experiment set to walk the halls of the great city. Eat the corpses of what Zond and Centrix kill. See, they eat live stuff too! Alright. There are rumors. But let's hope they're only rumors. Let's not go panicking before we even start. I mean, are we tough or are we tough? We is both. All right then, let's go to work. There's a gun-like object here. It has a few alien touches here and there, but I think it's a crowbar. This table is covered with lab equipment. I'm not sure what it all does, but one device looks like a cross between a microscope and a mace. Those storage crates have specially designed handles so that the Zons may carry them easily. We in the land of science, where the trouble all began. So, what can you tell me about this area? This is a lab, where Lizy creates wondrous things, and monsters. What kind of things are made here? She made Zons here. As I said, this is where all the fun began. Our Centrix is made here too. Cory Fox does not know. Do you think Lizy's around here somewhere? No. Lizy is hiding. He's probably preparing a special death trap just for us. Great. What might that be? Corey Fox would not know. Special Zon, perhaps? We say hello, human. What is this place? This is a lab. What went on here? Lizy make experiments. Zons make here too. Where are the Zons made? Here. Room down the hall. 
What kind of experiments? Me not know. She tell me it a secret. Do you know anything about science? Well, I but only know Sierrafel say it's bad for me. And not necessarily. What? Science is all right when handled responsibly. Mmm, me not heard that before. Me not seen handled responsibly. Come to think of it, neither have I. Me world and you world have same problem then. I will have difficulty fitting the table in my backpack. I will have difficulty fitting the table in my backpack. Alien hardware to add to my growing collection. Gimme. That's interesting. Looks like the interface jack can't translate this screen. The Ice City brains were right. It needs to be updated with the current decryption code. What else can be said? Me not know what you want me to say. Lots of crates over there. Lots of crates over there. Zantusia. She's too involved in her work to notice me. I think she's a scientist. Everything. Just ask. What's that computer for? Oh, don't touch that. Tell me what it's for, or I'll save your next of kin the trouble of cremating you. All right. It's the production and coding computer. Meaning what? We use it to regulate automated production. It also updates information jacks whenever the Titan net code is changed. Is that a fact? Yes! I swear! I'm telling the truth. What's with that Zahn? Well... 
It's a zond. I know that. What's it doing here? Nothing! You're gonna have to do better than that. It's just a zond. I don't know what else to tell you. Tell me how they're made. They're manufactured on the assembly line. Assembly line, huh? I want you to shut down Zon production. I can't do that. Lizy will have my head. I'm afraid I'm the one who's got first dibs on your head. Now shut it down. All right. But you must swear never to tell anyone what I did. I swear. Very well. I'll do it. I don't want you just to shut it down. Someone will turn around and switch it on again. I want it good and screwed up, understand? Very well. If you'll let me go. Uh, it's done. Attention, Odobin! Odobin! <coughs> yes, <coughs> Mistress Lizy? I have detected a massive power loss on the Zond assembly line. Is the intruder in there? A Mitre camera. <clears throat> yes, me see him. You are supposed to keep the doors sealed. Now the intruder has halted Zond production. Me, me make mistake, mistress. But no worry. Me not fail you again. Yes, you are quite correct. <laughs> I hope you were paying close attention, intruder. You've just been given a prelude to your fate. We'll see about that. I can check to see if there's anything inside the garbage. Let's have a look. Let's see. Looks like someone's former lunch. There's a lump of something I just don't want to have anything to do with. And there's two halves of a card in here. Hmm. It looks as though they're not halves of the same card. Still, they might be useful. I can't think of anything else to do with the garbage. Looks like the Zantusia was working with his computer when I interrupted. It's already accessed. How convenient. To update, to update your, your interface, interface Jack, Jack, please, please enter, enter your, your access, access sequence. sequence. Update selected. Your jack has already been updated with the current decryption code. Please select another option. Please enter your password.
and there's a partially assembled Zond on the table. And there's a partially assembled Zond on the table. One of these Zond claws may prove to be useful. Maybe I need an ID card to log on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lots of crates over there. I can't pick that up. Probably a bunch of severed limbs in there. serves me correctly. The Zons were originally designed for menial labor. Labor doesn't get much more menial than hauling crates. So with the crates having hooks and grooves for Zon claws, logically, a Zon claw can open a crate. I'm gonna use this claw to pat myself on the back next. Got the card. I can't use it like that. Give me some of that. There's nothing else inside. There's nothing else inside. They're designed for Zons to carry. I don't have a Zond. 